Hello guys and welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make a really cool simple intro. All I've done so far is put a BG in here by going to new and creating a solid calling it background. Then in my effects presets creating a ramp and just throwing these colors on it just like that. So real simple to do, not real difficult. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create some text and I'm just going to put PFL Tuts in here. Hit control A. I'm then going to make this text bigger. Find something I like the looks of. I kind of like this. I think it's pretty sweet. And then I'm going to use my move tool. And I can put this here. All right. And basically now all I need to do is go ahead and put this all the way up to 10 seconds here. You get your PFL Tuts text. I'm going to go ahead and hide that for now because I don't need it. Go to create new solid. And I'm going to call this part particular and I'm going to then go to new and create a light called emitter with a capital E and all right so I'm going to put the text at the very very top so it's just out of my way for now I'm going to go ahead and this emitter here I need to go ahead and move it over to this side here and I'm then going to keyframe it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit P while I'm on here for position. Go ahead and click on my little keyframer. I'm then going to go over to the 6 second mark. Somewhere in between the 5 and 6 second mark. I'll just go all the way to 6 though. And I'm simply going to drag it across the screen like so. So that this second dot is about right there. And that will come in handy later and you'll understand why. Okay, so you got that there. All right. All right, so from here, I'm going to go ahead and just click kind of in the middle area. And now we need to go here to particular, and I'm going to drag that above my emitter. I'm going to right-click on that and go to Effect, Trap Code, and click on Particular. Now, you're going to need to get Particular, um, and I will try to put that link in the description below, because this is what's going to allow you to emit your particles. And you can see here, I have these particles, and they're simply being emitted from the middle of the uh, canvas right now. So the first thing we need to do is go into our emitter settings and change our emitter type to lights. Now when you do this, that will now follow, that emitter will now follow the light that we just created. And you can make that go along any path you want. And you can see here it's very spread out, you know, it's it's kind of the way it is. And you can adjust that by uh, adjusting your velocity here. And about 40% actually looks pretty good right there for what we're trying to do. All right, now from there, we're going to go ahead and put the particle per second up to 1,000. And you'll also understand why that in a second. You can see they got a lot more particles now, and then they dissipate at the end. Now, they're not dissipating quick enough for me. So what we're going to go ahead and do here is we're going to go down to the particles section here. And you have this life second span. And we're going to put this down to about 0 0.7, 0 0.8, somewhere in there. And you can see here that that's now a lot smaller, but uh, let's go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. I want to have a little bit of a trail. So that now the particles basically disappear after a little bit, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and put the um, feather up to 100, even though we're not going to use that. We're actually going to click on Cloudlet. And what that's going to do is this is going to allow us to basically create a cloud, okay? Now we don't have anywhere near enough particles to create a cloud right now. So before we do anything else, let's go back up to the top and let's go ahead and just type in, let's just put 2000 for now. And that's a lot thicker there. That looks a lot better, I think. And this velocity for motion, we need to go ahead and just kind of adjust that a little bit. Velocity random. Let's go ahead and up that a little bit as well. And now what we're going to do so that it actually starts to look like a cloud instead of just these white particles is go here down to shading and shadow it for main we need to turn to on. And if you zoom in here, you can see that it's starting to look more like a cloud now. Not perfectly, but a lot more. Let's go ahead and take this opacity down. And this is actually what's going to help it to look more like a cloud at around 19%. Now our size, if we go ahead and up the size, you can see there we start to look a whole lot more like a cloud now. Okay? as you can see and that white cloud actually looks really good on that nice blue background we created all right so that right there looks pretty sweet now my only thing is that we need the actual emitter size to be bigger so let's go ahead and put this up to 80 uh, 80 and 80 
and that will basically allow it to cover a little bit more area for us and we may need to even adjust that again but for right now it's alright now we can change this over to shadow darkness for a little bit different clouds um, or even um, to light intensity so I mean, just you just really you guys you just gotta kinda play with this and kinda figure out what you want and you can see here if you play with this you know you get some different effects if you play with this you get some different effects play with this you get a lot of different effects I mean you just gotta mess around with it and that's really what this is just teaching you now let's go ahead and change this to directional and basically what this does is this creates the effect directly along the line that our uh, effect is on and if you create you can you can try these different ones out but basically if you leave it on uniform or directional right now it will probably be good but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on directional or a uniform I mean because that way it has this trail a little bit better directional works better if you're actually gonna make a moving path with it just an FYI so just so you know that and we can go ahead and uh, up this size a little bit more as well just so it really starts to look like a cloud now because of the color of this background we can actually do some other stuff as well um, and we haven't even gotten into physics or any of that stuff yet because we just simply <clears throat> don't have the time but if you put that in there you can see that the gravity it kinda like puts the um, yeah, you, you can get, you can get some different effects and stuff out of that. And you know, stuff like that, but we're not going to mess with that stuff right now because we just want ours to go straight across so it looks fine. Um Let's go ahead and put this uh, here at uh continuously and then we need to go in here to the color over life. And we need to go ahead and set this to this one here. And then double click this black one, change that to white. And well, actually, you know what? We need to make it a little bit of a darker gray, but hit OK. Yeah, it's a little dark. A little dark still. And there you go. That looks pretty good there. And the opacity, we need to drop that down to about four and this just basically gives the clouds a little bit more of an effect on the end and we'll go ahead and put, change that velocity a little bit as well particles up that so it's smoother Whoa. And so we'll go back to these original settings here. And that's an option if you want to do that. I actually don't care for it um, on, on this myself. Um, any different than just kind of the default settings. So I'm just going to leave it at that. But all right, guys. So now that we have particular done and we basically have our effect going across our screen, we need to go ahead and enable our PFL Tuts text here. All right. Now, the reason I'm doing this now is because I need to go ahead and scale this so that it's around the right size that we are looking for, which is about right here. And basically, we are now going to go in here to the transform and the opacity here. And let's go to one frame right here change this opacity all the way to 0% and then by the end of right there we'll need to up that back to 100% and you can see here this basically allows us to kinda of start to see the text however at the beginning of it here it's not really working out so well for us because it needs to appear after the uh, this section here. So with that, if we go ahead and grab both these keyframes and we just simply move them down to about like right here, you can see there it looks very much like the text is uh, appearing after the cloud goes past it and you can see there it looks very nice alright and so right here is where the cloud um, smoke basically ends let's go ahead and create another text layer and we're simply going to put www dot 
you know, whatever you want, pixel4life.com. I'll change this over to Arial, down that size to about like that. I am going to move this into position. About like that. I'm then going to simply drag this so it only starts right there. And I'm then going to go into here and go to edit and split layer so that the layers are split. And I'm now going to simply um, go to right click on this object here, click on 3D layer. I believe that's 3D layer is what I want. Why is it not loading? Please don't freeze on me. No, don't freeze. And it froze. All right, now that our text is 3D, we actually don't even need it to be 3D, so let's get rid of that and just go to Animation, Animate Text. And we're going to go ahead and do Rotation. And starting right here on Rotation, we are then going to go over to our 8 second mark. Well, actually right in the middle. Let's go right in the middle. And we're simply going to put in um, one time. And basically, that has rotated our text for us. So, bam, right there. I then want to simply drag this to where at the end of that rotation, bam, then this text here would appear. Alright, so if you actually watch the animation, you can see here the smoke is going by, bam, PFL tuts, and then bam, rotate, pixelforlife.com. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick intro tutorial by Pixel for Life. If you guys did, be sure to hit that like button and be sure to comment below and let us know. We appreciate it and have a great day.